Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free WordPress pop-up builder plugin. The name of the plugin is Pop-up Maker and you can create any type of pop-up using this plugin. And there are multiple ways to trigger the pop-up on your WordPress website. For example, it can open automatically with the time delay. If someone is there on your website for let's say 10 seconds, it is going to open the pop-up automatically. Or you can create a button which when clicked, it will open the pop-up. You can also create a pop-up when someone fills up the form on your website or you can open the pop-up when someone is about to leave your website. However, this feature is for the premium plugin only. You can integrate Ninja Form, Gravity Forms, Contact Form 7, Caldera Forms, WP Forms and all these other forms with the pop-up maker. In previous videos, I have shown you how to create a pop-up in Elementor website. If you already have Elementor Pro plugin, you can use the Elementor Pro pop-up builder feature. I have also published a video on iScram Engage. This is also a free WordPress pop-up plugin. You can create pop-ups, action bars, notifications and messenger using this free plugin. If you have Spectra plugin on your website, you can use the Spectra pop-up builder or you can also create Jet pop-up plugin. This plugin is for the Elementor as well as Gutenberg. Using this plugin, you can create pop-ups on your WordPress website. However, this is a paid plugin. So if you want to watch all these videos, I'll give you the links in the description box. So let's go to the dashboard of the WordPress website and install the free pop-up makeup plugin. So let's go to dashboard, click on plugins and click on add new plugin. And here search for pop-up maker. This is the plugin and you can see that this plugin has been installed on more than 700,000 WordPress websites. So click on install now and click on activate. All right, so the plugin is installed and in the left hand panel, you will see the option pop-up maker. Click on it. It will go to all pop-ups and you will see two pop-ups are already created. You can use them or you can create from the scratch. Here you will see an option create pop-up. Then we have pop-up themes, subscribers, upgrade and settings. Let's go to settings. And these are the themes. There are some themes which are pre-designed and you can use them to create a pop-up. Then we have subscription. Then we have privacy and miscellaneous. Right, let's go to pop-up themes and let's see which themes are there. This is the default theme. Let's go to edit and let's see how does this look. All right, so this is how the theme or the pop-up will look if you use this theme. The second is light box. All right, so this is how it will look, the light box theme. And then we have enterprise blue. And uh, this is how the enterprise blue theme will look. All right. So you can customize this. Let's say we have this enterprise blue theme is here and you will see overlay color. This is the overlay color. You can make it black or you can change the color also. You will see the overlay color change here. Okay. So you can customize the theme and use one of these theme to create a pop up. So I'm going to customize this one container. This is the container and you will see the padding for the container. Then we have background color is black. Let's change it to blue. Let's change it to this one. Okay, so you can change the background color. Then we have border. This is the border. You can add a border there and change the color of the border. Then drop shadow. If you want to add a drop shadow, you can add it. Then go to title. This is the title. You will see it here. And currently it is in yellow color. And the content has a white color. So leave it as it is. Uh, this is the close button. You will see the close button here. You can change the size of the button, the background color of the button, font, border, drop shadow and text shadow. So here you will see the option to customize the theme or the template of the pop-up. All right. So once done, you can simply click on update. And we are going to use this template to create a pop-up. So let's go to create a pop-up. Uh, let's name it as demo one. This is the name of the pop-up. Then we are going to add a title here, book free consultation. All right, and let's add some content here. I'm going to add a contact form on this pop-up. So I'm going to add some content here, fill in the form below. All right, let's center align it. And for the form, I'm going to use the short code. I have the form created already here. I'm using Fluent Forms on this website. So I'm going to use this contact form and this is the short code. So I'm going to add this short code. Let's go back and add a short code here. 
let's center align it so we have the title here then content and then we have short code of the contact form okay then below that we have triggers when do you want to show this pop-up for that we need to add a trigger so click on add new trigger and click open will be for the button i want to use a time delay so i'm going to click on time delay prevent pop-up from showing to visitor again using a cookie so i do not if you do not want to show the pop-up again and again and you want to show it only once then you can check this option and from the drop down you can select the option for example if the pop-up is closed by the visitor it is not going to show the pop-up again right in this example i'm going to uncheck this option and click on add so we have added a trigger here and what will be the time delay currently it is set to 500 milliseconds i'm going to change it to one millisecond so after a second it is going to show this contact form click add below that we have targeting where do you want to show this form for that we have home page all posts search results 404 error page all pages all media so all these options are available here in this example i am going to select all pages so it will be shown on all the pages you can select home page after that if you want to select any specific page you can select that also disable this pop-up on mobile devices and disable this pop-up on tablet device so if you want to disable pop-up on mobile device you can simply check this box click on display and these are the display conditions how do you want to show the pop-up this is center pop-up or right slide in top bar left bottom first we will start with this one and i'll show you the other options also so we have selected this option then we have appearance for the appearance use the enterprise blue theme that we just edited so i'm going to use this theme enterprise blue the size i'm going to keep it as it is you can change the size from here and minimum width and maximum width is there animation will be fade or you can also change it to slide or make it fade and slide sound if you want to add any sound you can add the sound position will be middle center and advanced we have disable overlay stackable disable repositioning so i'm going to keep it as it is then we have a close button there and this is the text for the close button and the close button delay is Let's say if you do not want them to close immediately, you can add a time delay. So the button will appear after five seconds. Let's say I'm going to make it five seconds. So it will be 5000 milliseconds. The close button will not appear for the first five seconds. Then click on advance. Under advance, we have disable automatic re-triggering of pop-up after non-Ajax form submission. If you have any form submission set up, then you can disable that option. All right, so we are going to publish this one. Okay, now let's go to the website and I'm going to refresh it. Wait for a second and you will see a pop-up is there. On the pop-up, we have this title that we created. Then we have the short content, fill in the form below. And then we have the contact form. This is a short code of the contact form that we have used. And here we have the close button. Right now, let's try the other location for the display we have let's select this one refresh it and here you will see the pop-up coming out from the bottom right hand corner let's go to the pop-up again and change the display to this one update it go back refresh it And this is the new layout okay now here you can notice that the close button will come after five seconds let me change the display again then we will see how long does it take the close button to appear all right so let's go to display again and select this one click update let's go back close this one and let's refresh it and wait for five seconds to see the close button appear refresh it It is in the bottom left hand corner, still no close button. And now there is a close button after five seconds.
So this is how you can customize the pop-up and show it on your WordPress website. So there are different trigger conditions that you can use to show the pop-up on your WordPress website. This one is click open. Then we have time delay that we have already seen and the form submission. Form submission will open the pop-up when someone fills up the form on your WordPress website. And if you have any one of these contact form plugins, you can use that option. These contact form plugins are supported in Pop-Up Maker. So you can see that it is very easy to create a pop-up in a WordPress website using the free Pop-Up Maker plugin. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.